hi friends it's Maya coming to you with another video and in this video I am going to show you what's in my freezer okay this is um, it's not a very big um, freezer um, but it works for my family I'm not quite sure what size freezer this is but if you really want to know I'll let you know but all I know is a Bill Marks um, freezer uh, this freezer I've had for about over 20 years, my friends, and it's still going strong. Okay, so I'm just going to show you bits by bits of things that I have in the freezer. Um, things that I think would be good for you guys also to stack upon and have available. Okay, so I'm going to start with my... Um, bag remember this bag of broccoli we got from Costco haul you can check out the haul I can put a link below and I always buy this um, when I go to Costco guys so this package of um, broccoli you have four small packages inside the bag as I said and this bag serves us quite well we don't always have broccoli but um, we make sure um, that we do have it in the freezer so there there we are guys these ones so you get about four package of these ones really nice um, size um, broccoli and uh, yeah and I think this bag costs I think $11 I'm not quite sure um, you can check out the haul and I think I've told you the price on the haul okay so for this this is the last one I do even though it's in this plastic guys I still put it back into the big bag and this is like almost like a, a ziplock bag and I keep it in here just to prevent freezer burn okay um I think I have another package but down below if not I'll have to replace again okay let's carry on I also have some basil butter guys this is also from Costco this big um, pack of two um, and this is a plant Oops, sorry guys this is the plant based basil butter and um, I like to buy this um, only because it lasts so long right and um, it's something that we regularly use in this house for frying, for cooking, for um, just about everything. So I like to get basil um, butter. So um, plant-based, as I said. Um, so I also have this in my freezer. We also have some burger, chicken burgers, I think these are. Um, let me make sure. So these are chicken burgers yeah and this package went on sale at my local supermarket for about um, less than four dollars I think it was three ninety seven and um, I grab uh, quite a few of these and these are fully cooked guys so I keep these in the freezer just in case we need a quick lunch quick dinner quick um, snack or a quick breakfast whatever it's up to you and this is made with white meat and yeah so I got a few of these 397 I paid for a pack so I, I made sure I fill up on um, chicken burgers this is okay I also got another pack of chicken burgers and I did um, I think this this package is actually from Costco Oops. Sorry guys, this is actually haddock. Um, this is fish, um, fish fillets. Um, yeah, I think we got this one from Costco. I'm not quite sure, but we do also have just for um, a quick um, dinner like this and um, and the chicken burger. The, yeah, and the chicken burgers. I usually pair it with my home fries. I'll put a link below as well. And I usually have um, fish fillets or chicken burgers with home fries. That's a deadly combination and good stuff. Okay. We got some frozen um, garlic um, bread. My daughter loves this when she makes lasagna. She usually um, pairs it with um, 
garlic bread and the 24 slice is what we got from Costco and I think it was like $4.99 for the whole thing or even less than that uh, my friend so this is garlic bread that we use not only with lasagna but we use it with our pasta many lots of pasta dishes that we make we use garlic bread okay and this is 24 slices that's in this okay let's carry on I always get my bread try to get my bread from Costco you see me use um, this kind of bread to make um, my I can't remember now my <laughs> I use this kind of bread all the time <laughs> so yeah and this is usually two in the case for um, $4.29 I believe it is and we and I like this slice of bread especially the white bread I think it's so delicious and it always seems so fresh so um, yeah and I have this for my breakfast my dinner sometimes I, I use this kind of bread um, as um, hamburger bread for my chicken burger so it works out right so two of these is um, $4.29 I believe as Costco as well okay more bread I also got the whole wheat one as well we did buy hamburger buns at um, Costco and this is two packs of um, I think it's two packs of 12 yeah I think yeah two packs of 12 hamburger bun and of course we need this um, for our um, chicken burgers and hamburger um, that we make yeah so it says no artificial coloring so and yeah so so 24 of these and I think was also about five bucks if I remember right and these are sesame seeds on the top and I sort of organized the, the the freezer guys and I put bread on one side and then meats on the other um, just to keep it a little bit organized so my bread is over on this side and I have more bread down here right so and it's a good thing that I'm showing you this video so I know exactly what I have and what I need to replace right and um, as I said you know during quarantine Breads were off the shelf, my friends. We couldn't find bread anywhere. And if you did find bread, they were mighty expensive. Yeah. So I'm going to carry on. So, yeah. So let's move over to this side again. I will always have um, beans in my freezer. Um, I like to have beans with my fried pork. I do have a fried pork, how to fry pork. Um pork chops on a video I also link that one below and I like to pair it with this and I also um, do a like a stir fry not a stir fry it's called blackened beans that I normally make I think I'm gonna make a video on that one so you guys can see how I blacken my beans oh it's so delicious guy friends so I always make sure I have one of these in my freezer at all times um, yeah, more meat this is actually um, pigtail. I used to make some soup. I'll move that over. This is cheese. I can't remember what kind of cheese this is, but this is a cheese that I use um, sometimes on my cheesy um, spinach pasta or my cheesy broccoli pasta. Um, that's the kind of cheese that I use when I'm tripling the cheese. So I always have extra cheese. Um, yeah, so we have some fruit blends in here my friends and this is um, cherry blackberry and Blueberry and this is from a local supermarket. We try to have a couple of these in there only because um, My girls like smoothies. I'm not a fan of smoothies at all. I don't think uh, fruit should be blended up or whatever <laughs> um, Yeah, so we always have um, some frozen fruit packs in the freezer and these can be nibbled on for snacks Right, so this is always great to have in the freezer and when these are out of season and you can have cherry this time of the year Because you're frozen some it's just a wonderful treat I also have some ground beef now this ground beef I bought in bulk from Costco and then I um, 
bag them separately so if I want to make some um, nachos some um, tacos some just some spaghetti sauce some lasagna then I'll have um, bags already ready to go and these ones a big bag cost about $25 pretty pricey but I get a, maybe about eight um, portion of like this and um, it lasts quite a while so I have a few bags of um, ground beef in my freezer more ground beef bacon my friends you saw my haul um, yeah lots of bacon um, and I think Costco has the best price bacon around so we do have bacon in the freezer we do go through a lot of bacon in this house and I love it right and of course more ground beef yep. it's good to have these in the freezer guys um, meats were flying off the shelf like crazy and um, yeah so we just want to make sure we are not running ourselves ragged this year trying to find meat. Okay. More bacon. I think I'm going to take all the bacon and carry it upstairs for someone who wants bacon this morning. Okay, so let's carry on. More fruits, frozen strawberries. Here we are. This is from my local supermarket. Um, and these are like three bucks a piece or four. They can be mighty expensive. This is cauliflower, not broccoli. And I like to have my cauliflower now and then um, with some cheese on top. So I always make sure I have. So once in a while you need to go through your freezer to make sure things are not expiring. And these are um, was recently addition guys. So these are far from being um, expired so yeah so that's my meat bin and more frozen fruits pineapples frozen pineapples frozen fruits and this is a Caribbean um, treasure one has in a lot of nice fruits in it it's great for smoothies I was told as I said I'm not a fan of smoothies so you'll never really see me making smoothies all the time I've had smoothies that are pretty good but um, yeah I would probably choose something else with my smoothies and more fruits and these as I said is a wonderful treat for yourself and the children right you saw my blueberries guys from Costco and this is organic blueberries apparently no pesticides is used I also have frozen blueberries um, as I said these girls make a lot of um, yeah, smoothies in this house and um, sometime when you're feeling for a berry you thaw this out and put it on the side mm, makes a nice little addition to your oatmeal and of course I do have a big bag of, uh oh, that wasn't supposed to happen, sorry guys. I do have a big bag, another big bag of broccoli in here. Um, as I said, this is a regular thing in my house. I use broccoli a lot in this house. Okay. All right. I also make sure I have some frozen spinach. Um, this is a no name brand from my local supermarket. And these are 99 cents, guys. Go out and grab these because honestly, you can make. Um, a quick simple meal with frozen broccoli I mix a nice breakfast lunch or dinner I have some dummy okay I now also make sure I have a couple slices of sliced cheese now these are processed cheese and um, I was talking to a co-worker recently and she said she doesn't really buy these because they're um, processed but I like to have a few of these just in case and I think you guys should too um, these ones are um, also went fast at the grocery store and right now in the grocery store these are like a dollar ninety seven or less than two dollars um, so you know grab a few of these keep it in your freezer just in case you might need it like we have lots of bread here so we can always have a um, a nice sandwich or something I do have some ice cream in there you can't do without ice cream 
Okay, um, these are frozen breast milk. Um, another day I'll explain that to you. And of course, some frozen treats for my boy. But we'll explain that to you one day. And uh, um, yeah, I also make sure I have some roti. This is just frozen roti. I think this is good for a quick meal. Um, I think I also did a video of making chana. <clears throat> sorry, a curry potatoes and um my curry potatoes i have with um roti and this is what i use this is you know just a local supermarket brand and yeah so this is what i use so that's it my friend i'm going to stay and organize this freezer a little bit better now i know what's in actually in this freezer now you know what's in mine now go out my friends and get a couple of these um stuff make sure you have enough of a little bit of everything i should say just in case the city closed on again and we're on the quarantine you have enough food um to eat and drink and be merry and yeah that's it um please comment below my friends is there something else um you have in my in your freezer that you think i should have in mine um i'm open to suggestion okay thank you for watching my friends don't forget not everyone that wanders is lost and always strive for something better.